Hi, welcome back to the course on using uh, Excel to do financial modeling. Now, in this problem, um, we are going to produce a amortization loan table for a fixed rate loan. All right. So, um, we know that uh, amortized loan uh, is often used for example, like for housing loans in which uh, some our interest payments, uh, some of the component will be attributed to pay off the principal and the rest will be for the interest uh, component all right so the aim of this is to use excel to generate a loan amortization table and our loan uh, as per standard loans uh, in the real world is to be repaid in equal annual installations over its life um, and the first payment is made at the end of the first year all right so um we will wait. first use Excel to do it and we will first take in some inputs okay so inputs forward okay inputs so inputs will be interest rate of the loan okay and our loan life and our initial loan balance okay and our and that's it all right let's highlight our inputs to be in gray cells so interest rate suppose it's 10 percent okay let me just change this to percentage okay 10 percent loan life will be for example 15 years and initial loan balance let's make it hundred thousand dollars right okay now next is we will uh, output the required annual payment now in Excel, okay, it, Excel gives us a very useful function to find out how to calculate our required annual payment based on these inputs for loan, right? Now to find out that that which function, okay, you can go to insert and function, okay, and you can look at select a category, okay, financial, and uh, the one that we would use is payment, right? So if you look at the description says calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and constant interest rate which is what we want over here so click it OK and we will see what values it gives us now first okay enter interest rate per period of the loan okay interest period interest rate will be here okay now and the number of payments for the loan all right okay number of payments would be uh, we are making annual payments, so it's this, right? And also our present value, which is the total amount, um, the present amount that we have loaned. So we'll be here, and we'll click here, and that's it. Okay, so it gives us a negative number, but this is because uh, we can change this by giving a negative PV. Okay, so the co by convention, it will give us a positive number. Right. Now in Excel, uh, you can notice that in our formula over here, we are referring to our cell references as the uh, column and the row, right? Okay. But actually, alternatively, you can name them as well. For example, you can name this interest rate. Say I'm going to give it a name. I call it IR, interest rate. I can just click on it, and under this name box here, I put IR, and, um, oops, let me just delete this previous. Yep. Okay, I can name this uh, IR. IR. Okay, you can name this uh, loan life to be N. Okay, N stands for number of years. Initial loan balance are put P. Okay, so what it means is that I can refer to these cells with the nicknames given here. Okay, IR and uh, N and P. All right, and I can change all this as well. So rate this IR, for example. And this uh, number of periods N and P, I'll just put T over here. And I'll still have um, the required payment. So this is the required annual payment that I have to pay off for, uh, for the next 15 years to repay my loan balance. Now, we want to generate the amortization table. Okay, So that will give us uh, an analysis of what goes on in the loan life uh, how much interest we have to pay, how much principal is paid, how much balance we are left for a particular year. So to do that, let's have a couple of labels first. So we can have the year. Okay, uh, year will be 
meaning from year 1 okay, to year 2 and all we can just drag it on until 20 we can have more okay. we can have a year of beginning balance okay. we can so how much loan we have left uh, in the beginning of this year now in the beginning of year 1 okay, the beginning balance will be the same as our initial loan balance we can just do this straight away and see that it refers to the cell as P okay doesn't have to necessarily be B4 okay so your beginning balance and then uh, annual payment that I have to make okay annual payment okay annual payment will obviously be this all right but if I want to do a better check okay that is um, I can do this if okay if um, my year okay exceeds okay my number of loan like then I know I'll output a zero okay else I'll just output my annual payment okay oh, which is a uh, uh, oh, payment yep over here okay okay so why, why do I do this if check okay to make sure that when I drag down um, later when I copy and paste the cells onto later years uh, this annual payment is not repeated in years uh, after the loan line okay so that i can easily extend this model to uh, other loan lines okay so i make this check okay and similarly i can name my payment also i can name it let's, let's, let's say for example uh, uh, payment okay and then i can refer to this as payment P -P -T. okay so you give me the same same okay now other columns that I will want um, I would say uh, oh my annual payment how much goes to interest okay and to calculate this I will take my again I will first check if okay my year exceeds my loan line okay then it will be uh, zero else it will be beginning balance times my percentage and that's it all right so next it will be my principal component component okay this will be similarly if first check that if my year exceeds my loan line then zero else it will be okay so principal component can be calculated by how much I pay every year subtracted away my interest component okay so this and that I have it, my principal component okay and lastly my year and balance year and balance okay year and balance will be derived using it goes to my beginning year balance minus how much I have paid off okay now before that, let me do an if check also. So I do an if the year exceeds this, then zero. Else I'll do that uh, beginning balance minus principal we pay, and there I have it. I have my year end balance and all that. All right. So this is the first amortization row of my first year. Okay, and I know in my second year, okay, my year end beginning balance will be this guy over here okay and um okay now for the rest i can just cut and paste and drag and drop and it will generate my values for year two okay and i can continue to do the same until the end let's say i drag and do year 20 all right okay and then let's say i'm going to format them nicely okay Format them currency perhaps. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So there you have it. This is my amortization table. Uh, I can go a step and also do a format, conditional format, um, where if it's zero, if the cell value is equals to zero. Okay. Then I will format um, I can 
say that I do not want it so I can grey it out. Okay, something like this. Oops, it didn't appear here. Uh, right, okay, but that's okay. So this is my amortization table where I have my inputs, uh, interest rate, loan life, initial loan balance, and using the PMT uh, formula and then generating my amortization table uh, as such like that. So there you have it, a financial model to generate an amortized uh, loan.